So from time to time, I always get the question about bandit signs, yard signs, uh, we buy houses signs, and are they actually really effective? So today, I'm going to take a ride around my town, and we're going to look at some of the bandit signs that are being used, not only by wholesalers, real estate investors, hair salons, uh, junk car removal, and we're going to do that right now. All right, so the first one we have here is actually a local real estate investor. Dion Washington uh, offering rent to own at a 640 credit score. Dion Washington realtor in DC. And then secrets to sell your house now. So it looks like she's doing uh, some sort of a seminar. So let's go to the next one. All right, so we're back heading down to our next sign um, right off of Kenilworth Avenue in Bladensburg, Maryland is where we are now. And what I've found in using the bandit sign method, uh, especially in real estate, is that simple, bold, not too wordy is the most effective. So I do actually want to throw in a quick little legal disclaimer here. Um, although I print these signs, I market with these signs, I do not endorse these signs to be put up illegally. You need to, ch you need to check with your local municipality, your local government, find out what the infractions are, find out what the penalties might be. Um, some cities, some municipalities deem the, these uh, as illegal. So you wanna definitely check and find out what you can and cannot do in your local jurisdiction. I get the highest response rate and I've spoke to other investors as well. That you gotta imagine you're driving in a car 30, 40, 50 miles an hour and you pass one of these signs, it has to be big, bold, and simple so that you can memorize it because you're not going to stop and grab a pen while you're driving down the road. So it, one, it needs to be big and bold. Two, it needs to be the least word count as possible. And it needs to be bright because you got to remember, people are going to see these signs all hours of the day, whether it's dark at night or you know bright sunlight in the middle of the day. Those signs have to be vibrant enough that they stand out in both elements. All right, so the next one we have here is a handwritten cash for houses. Can you see that? And that's a 24, 24 by nine cash for houses, handwritten, very effective. We also see a lot of these here which is the local apartment complexes with their lease now. And a lot of these appear only out on the weekends. But those are very effective. Just a simple, a simple wooden stake uh, is all you would need. Um, get your sign, put a wooden stake on it, go out there and do your work. All right, so off to the next one. All right, so this next one just caused me to hook a U-turn. Guys, when you see this one, this, I mean, this is so smart. It's actually listed as uh, an on-market property. It is uh, listed on that multiple listing service on the MLS. When you see this, where am I? Oh, no, I'm a block away. I'm sorry. But, yeah, I saw it. I just drove past it. And I'm like, I got to hook a U-turn. You got to see this one. I think I'm gonna use this one myself. All right, so let's jump out. So it's an on-market property, right? 
I'm not familiar with the agent who listed it. It was a beautiful house. Yes. Look at this side. That is so smart. Everyday open house call for entry. Man. That sucker caused me to hook a U-turn. I mean, that is so, so smart. You can place it in front of your house or your rental property or whatever. Open house every day. Call for entry. That's awesome. All right, so I have a perfect example here of when I say keep it simple, keep it clean. Look at that. We buy houses any condition with a phone number. That is so effective. White background, bright red text, so effective. So that was a look at bandit signs in my area. Uh, a lot of them uh, are being used for real estate. Uh, small businesses will use them for specials. Um, you know, even commercial uh, establishments will use it. We're pulling up now on probably one of the most famous franchises in the country. And I just wanted to show you how they're using their bandit sign. So on my last stop here heading back, I just wanted to show you guys how relevant bandit signs are. We are here in front of none other than 7-Eleven. And what do they have out front but a bandit sign? Coffee, one dollar. So that shows, I mean, dude, commercial, big retail stores, everybody, they're using these signs, all right? All right, so that was a look at my area uh, with the, the use of bandit signs. Um, I'm curious to know what you guys see in your area, so comment below. Uh, let me know uh, what you're seeing, what's the most effective in, in your part of the country or your part of the globe. Uh, don't forget also, if I am bringing value, um, please don't forget to hit the like button below, subscribe so you'll always get new content when we post it or go live. Once again, this is another entrepreneur strategy that I use um, in real estate and in business. Um, so give it a thumbs up. Talk to you guys soon.